There are so many elements of our lives that we search for answers within. Whilst plenty of professionals join forces to search for the solutions to the greatest mysteries that have plagued the universe, the mysteries that are more interesting are those with answers that might be a little less logical. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three wildly different mysteries, from the hypothetical and uncertain to the weird and unusual. Michael Rockefeller Disappearance Plenty of mysteries have started with a disappearance. Many people who have gone missing have had their cases and stories tragically lost to time. Though, of course, some do close with a happy ending. Then there are the disappearances where the answers, the alibis and the evidence don't seem to line up with one another. This is when cases tend to pique the interest of the public and the theories begin to spiral. One such case is that of Michael Rockefeller. Rockefeller was the son of former Vice President of the United States, Nelson Rockefeller. He went missing during an expedition within the Netherlands' New Guinea back in 1961. Some have confessed to having seen his death, though more than 60 years on, we don't have any proof that he did indeed actually pass. It was on the 17th of November 1961 that Rockefeller, along with a fellow expeditioner, a Dutch anthropologist named René Vossing, experienced one huge bump in the road. Seven months into their exploration of Asmat tribal cultures, the pair were in a canoe about three nautical miles away from land when their boat overturned and disaster struck. Two local guides headed towards the duo when they saw the boat tip over, though, of course, physically making it over to help is a little more complicated than simply racing towards them. Rockefeller and Vossing had been drifting for a significant amount of time when in the early hours of the 19th, Rockefeller decided he could manage to swim to shore from an estimated 12 nautical miles away. Help made its way to help Vossing the next day, with her successfully being rescued, but Rockefeller never made it back to shore. Plenty have theorized what happened to him, with many suggesting that he passed away from the harsh conditions of the water, or that he had been too exhausted too soon to make it to safety, or possibly having been attacked by an animal in the water. A perilous situation and a missing person leaves plenty of possible outcomes to question and consider, and we can only hope the correct series of events is one of the least painful ones. However, some people have come up with some ideas regarding what might have happened to him. In 1961, some groupings within the Asmat tribes still saw elements of headhunting and cannibalism within them, and so some have speculated that Rockefeller may have been intentionally harmed or even eaten by the people in the Asmat village, Otsyunep. Plenty of other theories were spiralling too. Ideas of him being held hostage, kidnapped and kept prisoner, or that he had decided to embrace the life he was observing ever so fully, living out his life hiding out in the jungle landscape. In 1969, a journalist by the name of Milt Mashlin denied these ideas, debunking them as plausible theories. He did report that the circumstantial evidence suggested that he most likely had been harmed. His mother had hired a private investigator, and though the reported information here is not overly reliable, and the certainty can be largely questioned, there was no definitive answer as to whether Rockefeller was alive or not, despite a skull having been brought back to his family to see in case it had been their relative. In light of this mystery, there has been a large number of media productions discussing it. One of these was the documentary film Keep the River on Your Right, in which some members of Otsunep village describing finding Rockefeller's body on the riverside before they ate him. Another very well-known production following the Rockefeller disappearance is a 2014 book written by Karl Hoffman, where he described reports that he had been given from men of Otsunep having seen Rockefeller successfully swim to shore. However, things went south after his initial safe arrival. Reports described a small number of men arguing before deciding to harm Rockefeller as an act of revenge following a 1958 incident where Dutch colonial officials had taken the lives of the village's men in the midst of a confrontation. What is most chilling about this is that as Hoffman left, 
A man spoke to him, threatening and warning that if he shares the story he heard during his visit, he would lose his life. The Maracoxi One genre of mystery that has been around for centuries is, of course, the rumoured presence of the supernatural. From the most famous examples such as Bigfoot or his wintertime friend the Yeti, the existence of various cryptids has been a point of debate and discussion for almost as long as time itself. One potential animal is the Maracoxi. The Maracoxi is a somewhat catch-all term in itself, simply referring to any sort of large creatures that bear a resemblance to an ape. While some debate their existence at all, others debate their status as a cryptid. There is debate surrounding the group as to whether the Maracoxi are an obscure and strange animal or if they are actually an undiscovered human tribe. Sightings of the group have occurred across a broad geographical region, spanning plenty of areas throughout the jungle regions in South America. While sightings have not been all too common, they have not gone smoothly in the past, to say the least. One Percy Fawcett reportedly saw a group of Maracoxi back in 1914. He described his experience claiming that the group had been covered in hair, that they lived in villages, and perhaps most notably, that they used bow and arrows. Many have said that the Maracoxi are aggressive and violent when they encounter humans, with a number of instances stating that they had attacked as soon as they had laid eyes upon their human counterparts. In terms of appearance, the group are understood to be hominoids, mostly residing in the range of two to six feet in height, though some sightings have reported seeing some reaching up to a staggering 12 feet tall. They walk upright like humans do, lending to the possible confusion between a tribe. Despite their hair, power and large stature, they are said to be able to camouflage and slink away into their surroundings with incredible ease. The group does seem to be intelligent and mobile. They are skilled in warfare and hunting, having allegedly demonstrated using spears, bows and arrows, or even weaponizing natural elements like stones and sticks. They have also got an incredibly in-depth understanding and knowledge of the land they live within, moving across the terrain with expertise, really coming in handy for their slipping into the jungle and disappearing from sight. Not too much more is known about these humanoid cryptids, other than that they do communicate with grunts and that they seem to be afraid of sudden noises, such as loud weapon sounds. Perhaps these sightings are mixed reports of different creatures, or maybe these are a dramatized view of a tribe we have not seen yet. 200 million termite mounds hidden in plain sight In 2018, a huge series of cone-shaped mounds were seen covering a vast space. It was Stephen Martin, an entomologist from the University of Salford, who first spotted these mounds while driving through a remote area of Brazil. He had been driving and 20 minutes later was still moving through these mounds. He and ecologist Roy R. Funch from Brazil's State University of Deira de Santana revisited and estimated there were thousands if not millions of the mounds. In fact, more accurate estimations says there could be around 200 million. It turns out these mounds are a result of the Sintimus dirus, one of the largest termite species in the world, reaching approximately half an inch in length. These small creatures are responsible for such a large number of mounds and they spanned an area as big as Britain. Further investigations into the mounds revealed that they had a huge span in age range, with some of the youngest clocking in at 690 years old compared to the oldest being at the minimum of 3,820 years old, and these are simply the minimum values. We also know that termites make impressive networks and tunnels, so it would have made sense for these mounds to serve a purpose as a point of ventilation, though they turned out to be nothing more than dirt. These mounds were just the discarded dirt following the termites having excavated their tunnels. These mounds represent to us the sheer amount of work and skill between various species. But what do you make of these mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.